guys what's up hope everybody's having a good day out there today thanks for tuning back into the video much appreciated and today i'm going to show you guys the best knot that you can possibly tie when you're fishing a jig and we've been talking about jigs a whole bunch here in the last couple of weeks i got a lot of stuff to talk about them and there's one knot that really stands out above all the rest of them uh, as far as just the way it performs under a variety of conditions and i'm going to go through and show you guys exactly how to tie this knot i know it's sort of sometimes it's hard to follow uh, it's people showing how to tie knots on on a youtube but i'm gonna i'm gonna go slow and do the best i can to explain this to you guys real quick just wanted to do a weekly reminder anybody out there interested in booking an on the water lesson with me um, just go to my facebook page uh, randy block a professional angler shoot me a private message i'll give you all the info uh, with that uh, give lessons mainly here on table rock lake stockton lake uh, different lakes here in missouri so if you're interested in that check it out I'm booking them actually for all for all year right now. So anyway, the knot that I'm going to show you guys here is um, Aaron Martin showed me how to tie this knot years ago, called the double or he calls it the double uni knot. And the thing about it is, when I talk about knots uh, in the past, inevitably I'll talk about a knot and show a little bit about it, and people get on there. That's not a such and such knot. That's a this that that's this knot, and they say tell me I'm calling it's the wrong knot. Guys, just chill out a little bit. It doesn't really, it doesn't matter what you call the knot. It's how you tie it. Aaron, when he showed me how to tie this knot, he called it a double uni knot. So some of you guys may say it's a different knot, but that's not really the point of the video here. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to go through this here. Um, I've got a uh, 5 8 ounce block at old school jig here. The Zoom Super Chunk on it. Again, if you guys are interested in ordering some of the old school jigs, um, you can get them at Bait Works here in Springfield, Missouri online. I'll include the link in the description and you guys can order them there. It's a, man, it's kind of a good looking springtime jig coming up there. So I'm gonna show you guys how to tie it with that. So first of all, on my jigs, um, I use a wide range of different uh, pound test line for my jig. Um, and 95% of the time I use fluorocarbon line. The only times that I do use braided line for a jig is that I'm fishing a one ounce jig in matted vegetation, which is not very often, but so most of the time, I'm using anywhere between most of the time say 15 to 25 maybe 30 pound test fluorocarbon so for the point of today's video i've got some cigar smackdown in the uh, yellow color here just to make it easier to see but i don't ever use this for an actual jig it's just for demonstration purposes <laughs> okay guys let's talk out double knee knot uh one second, guys. I got Elijah yelling outside. I'm gonna take care of this. Is all okay, back. guys. We got Elijah squared away there. I'll try to get through this real quick before he comes back in here. But anyway, before we get started, a couple different quick things here to remember: give yourself plenty of line when you're starting to tie. That's that's the, one of the biggest problems people make is they don't give themselves enough room with the uh, line. And also, you're gonna have to learn to tie in correlation with your mouth and your hand. And you'll see me do it here when I show you how to do it. It's something that just takes practice, but once you learn to use part of the line in your mouth, you can tie just so much more quicker here. And it's pretty hard to tie with braid. This is 10 pound test braid, so it's a lot harder than fluorocarbon would be. So anyway, I'm gonna come through one time with the uh, the jig right here with the line. And then I'm gonna come right back through the uh, eye where I just came out of. So, it's going to look like this. Except the braid, it, it sort of lays funny. So sometimes it's a little bit hard to get a hold of. <clears throat> so we've got it just like this. Pretty simple like that. And uh, normally I've got about six or eight inches. The key on this knot, guys, is to learn how to pinch each end in your finger and then you're going to put it together. So I'm going to take this end right here and I'm going to put it in my left finger like that. So I've got everything pinched together in one finger. I've got the loop here. I've got the little end right there. So it's just like that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it about five times. One, two, three, four, five. And the amount of wraps you put in has to do with how heavy the test line is. The more, the heavier the line is, the uh, fewer wraps you have. The next thing I'm gonna do is see the little loop right there? I'm gonna come through that loop right here with this round part. 
So I'm going to come right in through there. You can see I brought it through there. I brought it through the loop. I'm going to put this loop in my mouth and pull it tight. Like that. So, in the, in, so the way it is right now, I pull it tight and then I'm going to cinch it tight like that. And then I'm going to take the loose end, see this loose end? And I'm going to pull it like that. And that's going to cinch everything down. Like that. And then I'll take my uh, scissors, cut it loose. And I've got my knot like that. So anyway, that is the double uni knot, guys, right there. It's the strongest knot that you can possibly tie with a jig. And the reason that this knot, this knot is the best is because of the impact resistance it has. <clears throat> the double uni knot is the highest impact resistant knot as far as setting the, the hook on a short line. So when you're pitching and flipping a jig, um, if you if you guys have tied like Palomar knots and certain knots before and you set the hook sometimes and you break off, a lot of times it's because of the way that line is around the eye tie of the hook and the way that the double uni knot lays on there, it lays perfect where you can just set the hook as hard as you want to and it never breaks with that. I've never broken this knot on the hook set and I've been tying it for uh, probably, you know, close to 20 years. You got three ties on it actually, you got loose end and... But uh, there it is, guys. Double uni knot for a jig. Lock an old school jig on it. Just get some practice on it. Play the video back a couple of different times on there. You can probably see it a little bit more. Um, knot tying, like I said, it's just it's a matter of uh, really just getting familiar with using a combination of your hands and mouth. And once you are able to do that, you can tie them pretty quick. So give it a try, guys. I think you'll really go to it if you just use it on your jigs. I don't think you'll have any problems. Super strong knot. Once you get good with it, you can tie it pretty quick. So we'll be back soon with another video. See you.